here to the broadcast possession and second half of Eleanor Roosevelt and the pass of Clippers coming up shortly. I'll give you a quick, quick recap of what has happened in our first two games. First matchup was a matchup between Emerson Red Storm and the Newtown Titans in the boys' action. Newtown Titans, second day in a row with the basketball academy, second day in a row with a W. They were too upset Emerson in that game with the final score. Being 49-44 and a tight one there. And in our other game, the only girls actually today, Eastside Lady Ghosts from New Jersey. Beating the Dunbar Boys 70 to 45. It was close early. And the East Side Lady Ghosts athleticism and took over. Let's talk about the first half of this matchup. The Roosevelt Raiders was down by five in this one. He's going to come back and make a late charge in the first half. Hit a couple threes and taking the lead 36 to 33. Again, the second half, by the way, the Eleanor Roosevelt Raiders and the Patterson Clippers with similar home jerseys. Today, Roosevelt will be in the white and light blue, and the Patterson Clippers will be in the dark blue. So we'll take it back to start the second half. It's about to get underway in a little less than 40 seconds. Raiders. 
foul is called on the Raiders, number four. This foul, Jerry gets his third personal foul. Sign up with Block. Staying with Patterson. Brian Best back in the game, Raiders. Shoots and hits. Trying to third Quinn hit again. Brooks. I don't know Roosevelt. Missed it. Coming back on the other side is Patterson. The foul is called against Clifford. Clifford is number one, Tyquan Poirier. His first personal. For three. Little tips and miss. Clifford's coming back the other way. Shoot a pair. Foul's called against the Raiders, number 25, Quincy Winston. This is third personal foul, team foul number two. Quincy Brooks at the line, Clippers, two shots. Two shots here for Patterson. That one misses the first one. This is day two of the basketball count here at Morgan State's Hill Bell House. Second shot, that one scores, and it puts Patterson back up by one, 39-38. Foul off the ball against Patterson. Foul off the ball against Patterson. Foul off the ball against Patterson. Foul off the ball Five has it now back over to five. That was tipped everywhere out of bounds and staying but I don't know who's about. Side on three. That one's short. That's Patterson again. Get out of a two game losing streak. For the last two games. Blocked away and a foul against 
them out of bounds when I was going up the chains. What a passing control that. 56 seconds. Quarter and go up by five. Let's see if Bullet Bull for a 